Happy birthday, America. This is Ryan Sobolski with Sandler Training and welcome to your weekly head trash pickup. It's a mini video series where I'll share some of the mindset obstacles that I hear from my clients and also experience myself and how we might overcome them. My purpose is to give open-minded sales professionals like yourself simple tools that might offer a fresh perspective, help you up your game, and if you're willing, you might even help yourself out of your own way. Last week, we chatted about how to get out of voicemail jail, that awkward phase in the traditional sales cycle where you've had the discovery meeting. It went pretty well. You've sent over the proposal because they asked for it, and now it's a month later, and you just can't seem to reach anything but their voicemail. That's the jail we speak of. So we learned how to get out of this situation. See first video here. But how do we avoid this situation in the first place? In Sandler, we call this magical piece of the sales puzzle the upfront contract or upfront agreement. This is a metaphorical contract that's mutually agreed upon by both parties. It clarifies the timeline, the expectations of the next steps, and what the potential outcome will be. So how does that keep us out of voicemail, Joe? Uh, I'll share a few uh, or a potential verbiage from a prospect and two different responses, one a traditional response and one using the upfront contract or agreement. Okay, so you might hear this. Ryan, today's been great. You've provided us with some great information. There's an excellent chance that you have our solution. Please send us a proposal. We'll look over it, we'll get back to you. So the old me might say, great, I'll go back to the office, get everything ready and send it over to you to take a look. Um, and I'd probably not get the sale and I'd have to do a lot of free consulting, which nobody likes. Um, of course, I try to get the next meeting scheduled right there, but it's not always possible when you have a group of people and they all need to be there to look over it and decide. So what if we flip the script a little bit and ask for clarification on what an excellent chance we have your solution means? Uh, that would be the first step of avoiding voicemail jail. It's how we set mutual expectations. So then I would ask uh, something like this. Mr. Prospect, if it's okay, I'd like to ask you a few questions that'll help me put together the proposal that you're looking for. Uh, when it comes to timeline, do you think you'd have a decision made in the next uh, week or two weeks? You let them answer, of course, and then I would want to know uh, what will that process entail? Is there anything else I ought to know before putting the proposal together? Uh, and then you would want to say, given the pain points X, Y, and Z that you've brought up or that you've discovered or uncovered, uh, does it make sense to follow up a week after the proposal if I haven't heard from you? But the most the key question or the most important question that you could ask to get or stay out of voicemail jail is what should I do if I can't get a hold of you? That will be crucial and it will make a difference whether or not you can reach them in the future or not. Get that clear expectation, set the next steps. Uh, we can unpack the upfront agreement or the upfront contract in weeks moving forward if you'd like. It can be used effectively in such a wide array of uh, situations, personally and professionally. Uh, until then, thank you for tuning in to this week's Head Trash Pickup. I appreciate the chance to take our common sense and make it our common practice. Cheers.